Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now you may know in Laravel we have a share for Stripe and Paddle, but what I want to show you in this video is how to use uh, Lemon Squeezy with Laravel. And here I am in the lemonsqueezy.com. We need to create an account here, but before that, let's go to GitHub and we have a package for Laravel. So LMS Squeezy slash Laravel. This package has almost 400 stars and here we have the documentation how we can use that. So a package to easily integrate your Laravel application with Lemon Squeezy. It takes the pain of setting up a checkout experience. So easily set up payments for your products or let your customers subscribe to your product plans. And uh, let me open the Warp terminal and create a fresh Laravel application. So cd first the heart and then I'm going to say Laravel new. And I'm going to name it a uh, lemon, just like this. I'm going to choose breeze and blade with alpine.js, no best and no git repository. Or maybe it was a good idea to have a repository. Maybe you want that. MySQL here and also I think I have opened the DB engine. Okay, I'm going to open this with table plus. And uh, here I have created the squeezy database. Okay, now let's see the in the limon. And I'm going to open the project with VS Code. Okay, good. Now next thing, let's go here and set up the and install the package. So Let's copy this command, maybe let's submit a little bit for you. So composer require lemon squeezy slash Laravel and paste it right here. Hit enter. Okay, next, configure your API key. So create a new key in testing mode in the lemon squeezy dashboard. So for that, we need to get started and create a new account. So sign up with Google or with Twitter. I'm going to sign up with Google. Continue here and add your password. And then create an account. And you need to open the email and click on the confirmation link. And when you click in the confirmation link, here we have the store name. So create a new store. And I'm going to say just uh, Laravel. Testing the store URL, for example, let's say LMS Laravel. I'm going to say United States and create my store. Okay. And as we can see, is in the testing mode. Good. Let's go to GitHub and we need the API key. Okay, to put on the .en file. So let's go to store settings. API. And here we have API keys. Let's create new API key. I'm going to say just LMS Laravel. create the API key and let's copy this key and I'm going to paste on a .env file. Okay, so here I'm going to say LMS equal and paste that key or you can so just replace that LMS here now with this lemon squeezy API key. Okay, next what we need, we need also the store identifier. Let's copy that one and paste it here to be able with the store identifier, which is, so go to your lemon squeezy store settings and copy the store ID to the part after the hash sign. So let's go here. Okay. And here we have that ID, copy and paste it. Okay, and uh, next, what we want is be labeled model. So to make sure you, we can actually create checkouts for our customers, 
will need to configure a model to be our billable model. So this is typical the user, but if you don't have a user and if you have uh, some other name for your users, you need to add this USB label trait. And let's open, in my case, is user. I just have created that project and let's say use billable and make sure you import that from here. So use lemon squeezy slash backslash laravel backslash billable. Save and close. And now your user model will have access to methods from our package to create checkouts in lemon squeezy for your products. Okay, then we need to run the PHP artisan migrate. Let's copy that, but first let's open the .env file and let's go when we have the db connection and the db database is lemon, but I have named squeezy. And now let's run that PHP artisan migrate. Okay, next. We need to add the lemon JS. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to add that on the resources, views, layouts app. So after the vid, I'm going to add this one, save and close. Next thing, finally make sure to set up common webhooks. This is both needed in development as in production. Okay, so let's copy that and run it. Or I'm going to run in here. So let's paste that in. And yeah, we need expose or ng rock. So let's open here, expose Laravel. And we need to go to expose.dev and create an account also in here. I'm going to sign in with GitHub, so let's authorize the beyond code. And now what you need is the run the composer, so let's copy that terminal and paste that in. Hit enter. Next. Activate your, your uh, token. And I'm going to paste that in. Okay. And I'm going to copy this and paste it in the herd. So yeah, here we have the expose and I think we are okay. Now let's go back and I'm going to choose here expose. Yeah, the, lem the lemon squeeze sign in secret environment variable is required. And let me see where is that? Also, we need to add the webhook CSRF protection. So on the CSRF token, we need to add the lemon squeezy. So I'm going to copy that. Okay, so let's close or let's close this and open the verify CSRF token. And here, accept the lemon squeezy all, save, close that in. And then we need the web hooks, so lemon screen is signing secret. So in order to make sure that incoming web hooks are actually from lemon squeezy, we can configure a signing secret for the for them. So go to your web hook settings in the lemon squeezy dashboard and click on the web hook of your app and copy the signing secret into the environment variable below. So let's go here settings and webhooks and I'm going to create a new webhook here so let's say limon.test the callback URL and the secret I'm going to say 1 to 6 for example here and let's select 
all of them for now. And I'm going to save that webhook. Okay. And now let's copy that. This one art down there, which for us, for me, is one to six. And I'm going to save. Let's close. Let's open the terminal and let's run again the PHP artisan LMS squeezy colon listen. Expose. And yeah, now we are okay. Next, what we need. So let's scroll up. We have added the lemon.js configuration. If you want, you can run the PHP artisan vendor publish lemon squeezy migration to override the migration. Also to publish the lemon squeezy config if you want. And here we have a single payment. For example, to create a checkout for a single payment, use a variant ID of product. And let's go and create a product here first. So go to store, go to products, and I'm going to create a product here. And I'm going to say, uh, for example, Laravel book. Just testing here, single payment, uh, standard pricing, let's leave nine. 99 okay digital goods or service or just ebook i'm going to say ebook here for example and yeah we need this variant here okay so this we need the variant id so let's add the variant variant name default description just test and single payment standard pricing okay ebook very good just save and go back and here we have the variant now let's Go to three dots and copy the ID of the variant and let's publish the product. Okay. So I'm going to close this and let's see here. Yeah, we can make a single payment example, but also if we scroll down, we have a widget here, as you can see. So we have this X lemon button and let's do that. But first I'm going to open the web routes. I'm going to paste that ID just to have it here. And then let's copy and paste also this one. So we create a route by slash by function. And also we need to import the request from the illuminate HTTP request. And then checkout is going to be able with request user. And of, from the user, we can call the checkout because we use the billable. And here now we need to add the variant ID. So let's paste the variant ID in here and remove now. Okay, and then return the view billing, pass in here the checkout. And let's go and create or I'm going to say not billing, but the dashboard. And here we pass the checkout and then let's copy the X lemon button. And here we have the shrimp passing the checkout here because we add the checkout. Okay. So just let's go to dashboard because here we return the view dashboard. And instead of login, I'm going to paste that one. I'm going to save that. And let's go to our project, which is lemon.test. First, we need to register here. Test. Test at test.com add the password
And yeah, because we have added that uh, checkout here, but let me cut and say if, okay, now we don't have that. Let's go to buy slash buy. And now we have this buy product. Okay, because we created this uh, buy route. And uh, let me just duplicate this dashboard because maybe you don't like that. So I'm going to say blade.php and now let's instead of the dashboard, I'm going to return the view billing, pass in the checkout here and on the dashboard, let's leave it like this. Okay. So now if I go back the profile and then go to dashboard, we don't have that billing, but if we navigate the buy, we have this buy product. And let's test now. If I click to this uh, button, this is a button and let me just add some classes here. So for example, uh, BG to be slate 200 and also I'm going to add rounded the BMD and let's save and also we need the run so let me open here the npm run dev okay and to refresh now we have by product here okay if I click as you can see now we navigate the lemon squeeze it widget and here we have pay by card or pay with PayPal with the say to pay by card. And this is on testing mode. As we can see, test mode is currently enabled. And let's try, let's say 424242, 1234, 567. And let's choose a postal code here. And I'm going to pay click pay here. Processing. And thanks for your order. If I click continue now, it's going to show us the order, the details here. One more thing I want to show you also we can, uh, so we have here some user subscribe if we have subscriber with name with email and so on product details if we want to show the product details and also here we have a, red a redirect so instead of redirecting uh, here I want to redirect back to the auto or project so let's use that To copy this and let's open the VS code one more time go to web and here when we say request user checkout I'm going to say also redirect the URL slash uh, dashboard for example and let's save let's go and try one more time so here I'm going to say a lemon dot test by click by product one more time Okay, let's use the card number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and also add the postal code. You can select any country here and say pay is processing here. Now, thanks for your order. And then if I click continue, it's going to redirect the our project, the dashboard. Okay, friends, that's it. How we can use Lemon Squeezy with Laravel project. And if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much, friends.